Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss Cisco IOS modes of operation. In our previous video, we have discussed that we can get connected with a Cisco router. So Cisco router is a hardware device. It has an operating system IOS and we can get connected with a Cisco router using these different methods, console, telnet, secure, shell and auxiliary port. So whatever method we choose, we can get connected with the Cisco IOS, which will provide us a command line interface. So once connected by any of these methods, we will have a command line interface, which will be provided by Cisco IOS. So as soon as we uh, entered in the IOS or CLI, we will be in the user mode the very first mode of operation is the user mode that is called user exec mode and that only allows for non disruptive commands disruptive commands means only those commands which do not change or do not interfere with the normal operation of the routers only troubleshooting and monitor monitoring things can be done in this user mode and the identification for this user mode is that that then after the name of the router so this is the name of the router which can be changed after the name we will have this greater than sign this shows that at this time the the router is working in user mode and we have next operating mode or operation mode that is called privilege mode so to go from this user mode to privilege mode we will type enable here and enter once we enter we will have this prompt at the command line interface you see that this has been changed here and this in this mode the router is said to be in privilege exec mode or enable mode as well this is more powerful or privileged mode so we can use more powerful commands in this uh, operation mode and after this, we have another mode that is called global configuration mode. And to go in that mode, what we do, we, we use the command of configure terminal in this privilege exec mode. And when we type this configure terminal and press enter, we will be in a new prompt that is, you see the difference, the name of the router in the bracket, this is config written here. And this is a sign so now we are in global configuration mode and this command allows or this mod allows the command which actually directs the router to do something for us so this is this is the this is the uh, mode where we can we can instruct the router to do something for us and so finally router ios provides us uh, Three modes of operation one is called user exit mode second one is privilege exit mode and then is the global configuration mode and after these modes we can have even more sub configuration modes for example to enter in some of the interfaces in this router thank you